to configure your update management or to onboard your Azure Arc service or the Arc enabled service from your on premises to Azure Arc, you need to have certain things as a pre requirement. The first thing we discussed the log analytics and then you need to have your automation account and these two should be integrated with your update management so we will be first creating the log analytics and then the automation account and then we'll show you how to integrate these two things uh, to update management and then you could easily onboard your arc enable service and then you should be able to do the patch management that being said search for log analytics within your azure and uh, try to create a log analytic workspace so in my case i'm creating uh, with a new resource group called arc demo and uh, within this i would be rg hyphen or arc demo and then simply choose your region so in my case west us3 with the instance name arc demo log analytics and uh, use your tags in case if you like to use some kind of your tags that would be you no know, welcome for example as your resource log analytics that would be, that way you should be able to find out um, where this billing is happening or uh, based on the tags you could even do the automation so just click on create to uh, complete this log analytic workspace creation part and once it's done uh, as a next step we would be going back to log analytics to see whether it is actually created yes it has created with the name called arc demo log and uh, within this you should you know enable uh, these three points to be done we would be doing later and now you can you know search for the automation account so we do not have at this point of any automation account so let's click on create and choose the same resource group that we have just created make sure that you should be you know, selecting the same region of your log analytics so in this case org automation account that's the account name that i'm going to choose it and it's a system assigned uh, or not the any a specific account so in case if you have a private uh, access with your on premises then you should be able to choose that uh, private access but in my case i'm just choosing the default automation account so that way it's going to create the automation account so once the automation account is created, uh, I should be able to see here. And uh, within this, I have an update management. This is the first step that you need to you know, configure. If you just go back to the update uh, management, you need to you know associate your log analytic workspace with this automation account so that whatever the steps that we are going to perform on this automation account will be logged to log analytics server so once you have chosen that it takes a couple of minutes and then click on enable that way it, it enables the configuration okay and this might take a minute or so after that when you go back to the update management you get a different view altogether and if you see it's still in a progress but let's wait for a minute or so to refresh this console and uh, if i just click somewhere else and come back to the update management you would see a different view altogether you see here this time i should be able to uh, click on schedule updates or missions can be added all of you know different console view i'm getting directly from the update management right uh, that's how you're gonna uh, configure but uh, the first configuration which you have to do is you have to manage the machines uh, whether this update management is going to work for all the available machines within azure or in the future missions also are only a specific set of missions let's say you have already missions or onboarded you would have been choosing that but in my case i wanted for this machines as well as in a future missions also i would like to choose it so you can choose the middle radio button so that it, it, it enables a configuration for the current onboarded machines as well as in the future upcoming machines also so that's a configuration once we have done we are ready now we should be able to go back to the uh, view can be you know done in a three different way views but now let's go back to the update management and this is the option where uh, you could see all the machines once you have onboarded uh, and also you should be able to view even on a single machine specific also update management can be viewed um, so we talked about the single mission specific and as you are once you onboard it you should be able to see the servers so i'm going to show you in the next uh, video or next couple of minutes the how to onboard the service 
once you onboarded the servers, you could, you know, view on that specific server also the update are directly in the update management console too. So these are the options that are available. Uh, you could see single server or multiple servers can be onboarded or even update uh, management uh, preview also can be viewed.